The casket of late senior statesman Sir Rabbi Namaliu traveled to his home for the last time on April 13. He returned to Port Moresby on the 14th in preparation for the remainder of his state funeral program. He will be laid to rest at Independence Hill on the 18th of April 2023. The house choir program commenced with a word of prayer by Reverend Jack Moha, followed by a short sermon from the Book of Philippines. The sermon describes Sir Rabbi as a man of humility in all levels of his life. Reverend Moha acknowledged God for making Sir Rabbi a leader who put the interests of others before his own. He said Sir Rabbi lived his godly legacy and walked as a true leader for his people and nation. And as the scriptures said, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility value others above yourselves. Leaders and members of the diplomatic corps shared their sentiments in reflection of Sir Rabbi's life of service to Papua New Guinea. Notable figures who delivered speeches included Frank Kramer, Governor for NCD Powers Parkop, Governor for West New Britain Sir Muteville, Prime Minister James Marape, former Chief Ombudsman Ila Geno and former Deputy Prime Minister and East New Britain Governor Leo Dion. The final address was given by former member for Angoram, Arthur Somare, son of the late Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare, who spoke with deep sentiment in memory of Sir Rabi. As a former colleague of Sir Rabi, Arthur reminisced on how he worked and fought to bring sustainability to his community and the nation as a whole. Mr. Somare said Sir Rabi's hard working parliament and outside showed evident peace in homes, communities, and the country. On behalf of my mother, Time Marem News Osem, Uncle Rabi Pundan, Big Pla Iwara M Lucy. Me Big Pla Lo House Blami Wam Bla Pes in Osa Lucy Desla House, Rabi Namaliu, Meg Taylor, Tony Siagru, M online, or Lankol, Kandre, Blo all get all pigni blossomare. Isaac Langanai, Joy, Aaron, Helen, Nalona, me lusim papa now to sol, now you lusim blow you, misawe, to blab and make sing sing blow list up, lewa blow mistawa de plastered. Thank you, true. The evening's program concluded with a song by George Brown and Matupit Men's Choir as members of Parliament and the Diplomatic Corps bid farewell to Sir Rabi's family upon their exit from the National House Cry. Carol Kido Jr., TV1 News. <laughs>